Well, uh, heading out again. Well, I'm at Nelson with the truck this time. To look, go and look for land, but now my tire sensor fault has gone off. I never even knew I had uh, sensors in these tires. Just out of Calcigar. They look good though. Might be this bullshit sensor. I do have a gauge, tire gauge, but they look fine. I'll try them in uh, Nelson again, I guess. Um, 35 psi max is 44 so I put them all to 40 see if the sensor goes out on the back back on the road we go oh yeah sensor has gone out oh now it's back on intermittent that's okay we got lots of air could just be the colder weather but uh, 40 should be plenty of air whatever I'll just keep an eye on it over the bridge we go, and then to Belford Ferry, over to Crawford Bay. Okay, made it to Belford. That's uh, Kootenai Lake. We get on the Belford Ferry, and over to Crawford Bay. A little bit of a lineup, not too bad. Catch you on the other side. into Crawford Bay just south over the bridge it's a nice area but uh, we're gonna be here in the highway constantly it's like there's a town's gravel pit or something over there nice foliage though nice trees and there's a little house or cabin up in the bush there Very rustic, not very flat. That's probably why it's still for sale. Like if you're gonna build a proper size house in here, not that I would, but someone else, it's not really made for that.
It's interesting. And yeah, I think the property line, from what I gather from the uh, property, probably runs mostly that way. Because that's the road. Of course, a person would have access to this area. And property line probably runs up these concretes here. And this might even be county here, this little road. Or town, whatever. And the property's just to the left. Either way, you would still have access to this beautiful Crawford Creek. Herring. I mean, the problem is, it looks like this gets kind of wet in here quite a bit. If this ever floods, flood the rate out probably. But I really do like this, this look. Get access uh, water. Park right over there. Golf course close by too somewhere. I guess you could pop a cabin in here somewhere. But you wouldn't be very isolated. Oh well. Uh, keep it in mind. But yeah, that looks pretty uh, swampy down in there. So the amount of usable land. I don't know how much you need to have here. Yeah, I really like the foliage and uh, whatnot, but I just don't think it's isolated enough. Someone there, they'd be going in and out to get the gravel and stuff out of their sand pit. Bridge right there, all kinds of graffiti on the bridge. And you know the punks will probably be down here quite often. So beautiful in itself, but not uh, isolated enough. On to the next one.